Hey guys, okay, so I've got a question on YouTube and uh, this one is from Sri Ram. My question, Raghav, which exercises are best for athletic performance, especially for soccer? Okay, soccer is a game of speed, power, agility and reflexes, right? Now, if you want to improve your game, you would need to focus on improving these four factors, which is speed, power, agility and reflexes now when you're kicking the ball right you need a lot of power and strength in your lower body okay when you're running after the ball right you need a lot of speed when you're dribbling when you're going sideways back and forth this needs a lot of agility and reflexes so in order to improve your game you would need to improve on these four factors this can easily be done with the help of plyometric training now plyometric training is also known as jump training wherein your muscles exert maximum force in minimum amount of time to produce speed strength it works on a principle of stretch reflex theory you know wherein you stretch your muscle and then you contract it rapidly to produce speed and strength for example you know if you've seen a baseball game right in the baseball game the pitcher what he does is so that he can throw the ball as quickly as possible okay he will stretch his shoulder and his arm right and then he'll contract it rapidly to throw the ball at a fast pace right so this is basically stretch reflex another example can be jump squats you know jump squats what do you do you come to a squatting position right you you basically expand your or you stretch your glutes and your hamstring and then you contract them rapidly to go or jump as high as you can in the air. So jump squat is one example. Uh, then you can do uh, lateral jumps. Uh, then you can do box jumps. Uh, all these uh, jumps are a form of uh, plyometric training. Uh, if you like to watch more exercises, then you, what you can do is, uh, you can click on the video which is right over here. This video I did long time back. Uh, and this will show you different, different kind of jumps uh, that you can incorporate to uh, improve your soccer game, right? So plyometric or jump training is a very, very effective uh, way of uh, improving your soccer game. And why just soccer game? I would say any sporting event uh, which would require a lot of uh, explosive strength or speed uh, can benefit from this form of training. Something like uh, basketball, uh, martial arts, sprinting, uh, these uh, you know, sporting events also can benefit a lot more from uh, plyometric training. Now, a few important points that you need to keep in mind while doing plyometric training. Number one, you have to ensure is that whenever you do plyometric training, you always need to perform a thorough warm-up. Uh, if you're doing plyometric training without adequate warm-up, uh, chances of injury are extremely high. Number two, uh, what you got to make sure is that plyometric training should always be done at the starting of your training because that time the muscles are fresh and that is the point of time you should do plyometric training. So do them at the starting of your workout but not at the end of your workout. Number three, uh, always do plyometric training or jump training on a softer surface, something like your grass or sand surface and not really a concrete surface. If you do a concrete surface, right, what will happen is uh, the pressure will not get absorbed by the ground and then it'll come back to hit your ankle, knee or your lower back. Uh, from an example perspective, of course, I showed you the jump squat right now on a concrete floor. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you should not do a jump training on a concrete floor. So that's uh, you know pretty much what you got to keep in mind uh, to improve your uh, soccer game. Uh, Overall, I would say that if somebody wants to, you know, enhance their fitness level, uh, somebody wants to take their fitness to a brand new level, soccer is a very, very good game for that, right? Uh, soccer is also a very interesting game uh, and a very helpful game if somebody wants to lose weight or lose body fat. Among all the sporting events, I've never seen any fat uh, soccer player, right? So the game is very uh, intense, you know, it's, it's very tough. Uh, and you know it has own benefits you know like i said it can help you enhance your speed agility reflexes 
at the same time it can also help you to uh, stay fit and stay a lot more uh, healthier okay so hope that answers the question and if you have a question uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment box below if you like to consult me personally uh, do check out body transformation program on my website and if you like to watch more videos then do subscribe to my channel i'm going to see you guys next time till then for me bye bye